reel that I want to do for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe, please. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and write in the comment section below. Frankie Jack's just in, in the kitchen as well, as you probably hear him wobbling along. I love roses. Now, this isn't the big bunch. I normally get the one for a fiver. The best, as far as I'm concerned, the best flowers that you can buy from a supermarket or from Tesco's. Uh, they also do a full range of the ones that have gone in the sale, and they are fantastic. Normally, I always get in the sale. This was the only one I want, so it's a smaller bouquet to what I normally do, but I'm going to show you what I do with my roses just to give them a little bit of a difference. So you could be doing this uh, so obviously January when your decorations are going away and everything looks a bit dreary so I've got a vase I've got my roses we've got spray adhesive and we've got glitter um, and this is what you are going to use so let me get my scissors <coughs> yay flowers Frankie Jack normally helps me with this don't you I always put like a um, uh, a warmer water into a vase now if you are a florist or you're somebody that does flowers then um, please give me your tips and advice in the comments section below and obviously to the rest of the YouTube family so we all know what to do um, I'm actually going to put you down that's here not, now that's not your band no this is this is a rubber band because I'm going to put a rubber band around the flowers so let's take this off oh shoot what? I've just opened it and it shouldn't have been Put that into the water. So, so Give it the, a stir. So, so the flowers aren't dead. Yeah, so the flowers aren't dead. And then obviously I take all the foliage off. Foliage. <coughs> Frankie Jack. Don't we? We take all the foliage off. Take all the foliage And we get we get it so they are. And then I always cut them on uh, an angle like this but you, um, I know I should really be using clippers instead of scissors and I never cut or try not to cut near the knobbly bits so can you see the knobbly bits on here I learned that you either cut below or cut above because the knobbly bits take out um, don't allow the water to go up as well does that make sense am I making sense of what I'm saying there these prickly aren't they? They are prickly, so just be very careful when you're taking them off. They're not as prickly as what some of them are that we use. Are they not prickly? And then I just then measure nettles. off here. Are not prickly than nettles? Oh no, nettles hurt, don't they? Yeah. Nettles really hurt. Yeah. And then strip all the foliage off. The foliage is the stuff that just gets in the way when you're putting them in the vase and obviously turns the. My mate, my mate, put that one in. Thank you. Oh, I just need to cut it down. Let mummy cut it down, please. Thank you. Let mummy cut it down. Because mummy's going to do it so she gets them at the right length. So if I give you this, you, you. Oh. You can take those off. And put these in. Yep. Yeah. And then, so what I do then is I bunch them all together. So this might not be big enough for this vase, um, but you'll see the kind of thing that I do. So I bunch them all together like so. Bunch. 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 Going round. Bunch going round. Oh, hang on, sweetheart, hang on. Bunch going round. Bunch going round. <laughs> so can you see how I'm... No, no! do that to flowers no you sweetheart no sweetheart you can't do that to flowers so I get them in the best bunch that I can yeah and then I tie the rubber band around Got that and I'm strong. Oh, you're strong, aren't what, you? What and then we get the roses and I pop them in there. And if they if that. they're sticking up, so the the bottoms of these, some of them are a little bit too long. I then cut them off again in the diagonal. So then that fits perfectly in the vase. Okay, you see. So that's a lovely way. However, I then Take a little bit of spray adhesive. Is it, is it, is it not nice though? No, I get down, sweetheart. Just get down. Can I have those scissors? I can't really play with those scissors, baby. Thank you. 
And then I'll do it over this. Normally I do it in the, over the bin or outside. I don't normally do it in my... Um, but I just spray a little bit of adhesive on the flowers. This I actually find they last longer when I've done this. And then... Am I going to spray again? No. Then I take my glitter and I just pop a little bit of glitter over my roses. And it gives a really lovely, can you see I've gone with um, like an iridescent and then that I will now place in there and then if I take you off here, if I can without knocking it off, I'll show you obviously why at the bottom of the vase. And you see how beautiful that looks now with those sparkles on. Um, and obviously that's only cost three pounds. Obviously the, the adhesive lasts for a long time. And then I'll put them, I always have fresh flowers in the house. And then I put them on the side here. Normally I have the candles on. And look, look how beautiful that looks. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give your thumbs up. And don't forget to write in your comment section. Sorry, that's the doggies being very, very, very loud. Um, but that's my little tip. So you can do any sort of glitter. You could do gold glitter. You could do silver glitter. It doesn't matter what colour your roses are. Uh, it's a great one for Valentine's, but I am going to be doing more for Valentine's as we head into January. Sort of middle of January, I'll start with all the Valentine's. Uh, so don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to write in the comment section below if you want anything. If you want me to do something or you've seen something or uh, you've seen something that I do that you want doing that I've not done before, if that makes sense. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.